What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we're going to give you a full tour of this beautiful brand new model home right behind me. We are currently in the North San Fernando Valley in the Los Angeles County in the city of Porter Ranch. And this model home behind me is a Tuscan style house, a brand new build, and I can't wait to show you guys. This home features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 3,562 square feet of interior space, and is currently priced to start at just $1.2 million. All right, starting a tour at the front of the house. Now, I love a Tuscan style home, and this one has a lot of those features. Looking up at the exterior, as there are a lot of stone finishes right on this first level. And up above, we have a little bit more of a greenish color, really contrasting the light beige stone very nicely. And that green color also complements the garage door as well. We have a two car garage right there and a large driveway with some turf and nice concrete tiled pattern. Note a lot of the homes that we've shown you guys on this channel. If you want to see more of those, click the link right above. But the landscaping in the front yard are always incredible, as you see from this olive tree right behind me. A lot more greenery throughout this entire front yard. But enough about the front of the home. Let's just show you the inside. And here we are inside back at another home tour to show you guys. And this is just a grand entrance. You look up to very high 22 foot high ceilings and a modern chandelier hanging down right above us. But before we show you the living room and all of the main space, we're gonna take a turn this way because we've got this little office. Now I said little office, but there's a lot of space in here actually. There's enough room to have a couple of chairs, maybe even a larger sofa over on that end. We've got a built-in flat screen TV up here, right below it, lots of shelf space down below, some wine racks down there as well to have any bottles of wine or whatever you prefer. Just bright white and a modern interior in here with a Tuscan exterior. I do love that about this home, but here we are. Can you imagine doing some big deals in this office as you come in to the front door? We've also got three wood beams on the ceiling that do add to that Tuscan feel of this interior of the house. But let's keep moving out of this office past the front door. Just before we hit the staircase, we are gonna turn into this nook. Now we can't go inside both of these doors, but this is where the two car garage entrance is. And this is a closet just for some storage space. Currently locked at the moment, but let's keep moving down this way. We're next to the staircase that leads us to the second level, of course, and three gorgeous light fixtures hanging down from those high ceilings yet again. Absolutely beautiful, fits with the overall theme of this home. And before we move that way along, there is a bedroom right here. So let's walk inside it. Now this is a very cozy bedroom, a little bit smaller than the office that we just showed you next door, but I do like the wallpaper right behind the bed with that red and white color scheme. It matches the red curtains that close off these windows, looking out to the side yard there. You've got a closet in front of me and this bedroom is en suite. So let's check out this bathroom. First of all, in this bathroom, we have a large vanity with quartz countertops. The sink is planted just on the center of those countertops, matte black fixtures. And look at this tiled backsplash. Just got some linear tiled backsplash, makes it look very modern. It matches those cabinets down below as well. And you see a bunch more of those tiles on those shower walls, as well as in that shower niche, all the way up to the ceiling, wow. Speechless about it, I didn't even notice that when we first walked in here, but that's something real cool. Let's keep walking out here and directly in front of this room, there is yet another bathroom. This would be the guest bathroom or powder room for any of your visitors that come in here and just take in these hexagon tiles in a bunch of different textures. You got a smooth tile and then you got a more of a rough texture with some crystallized features on that. From floor to ceiling, this is just a luxury powder room at its finest. 
We've got a freestanding sink right here. No cabinetry down there below, but we also have some smooth tile on the ground in this powder room. This is definitely a very luxury powder room, as I said a couple times, but it's gorgeous. Let's keep walking out of here. Right next to the staircase, what do you think is here? A Harry Potter room. I'm gonna take a walk in here. Now this is one of the nicest Harry Potter rooms we've seen on the channel in a while. It's of an L shape. You even got room to fit a bed right here to stuff your most annoying sibling or Harry Potter. This would be a great room for him. <laughs> but let's keep moving out of there. And this is it, the main living space right next to the kitchen. So we're gonna start in the kitchen. Kitchen consists of this large rectangular center island with gorgeous quartz countertops. Right above the center island, we have a unique light fixture that I've never seen anything like it, honestly. It almost looks like a speaker where you have a little muffler there in front of it. So, you know, Raul could be out here just ready to drop his hottest mixtape on those lights right there. I don't know, but here we go. We have the large sink on the center island right here. Gorgeous stone on the countertops as well. Very large slab on that island. But first, let's go this way. Large Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. All the cabinets and drawers color scheme fit in very nicely with the bathroom cabinets we saw in that first bedroom. Overall, it gives it a very Tuscany vibe in this house. So as you see, we have the same colors all around with some windowed cabinetry surrounding the hood vent. As we move this way first, you have your very large Wolf microwave built in here and it is right above your Wolf oven down there. And let's just walk in here real quick. Walk in pantry. Let's keep moving along this kitchen. More details to show you. Those countertops are on both sides of your six burner gas stove. You have two more Wolf ovens there below for a total of three ovens. How many of you guys would want three ovens? Let us know in the comments below if you would love a nice three oven kitchen. And look up on this backsplash. I love the diamond shape that these tiles convey and you have some smaller linear Texture tiles in a different color right there. As we keep moving this way, right next to the kitchen, you have your formal dining room. Just a very large dining table. This would have been perfect for a Thanksgiving table for all your friends and family to hang out. You have two light fixtures right above the dining table as well in a matte black finish. Very beautiful. You have one window on this end of the dining table that looks out to your patio in the backyard. But before we go to that patio, we have this backyard to show you guys. As we walk out to this backyard, it's a very sunny day in LA yet again. Every time we film these videos, I don't think I see a single cloud in the sky. But although this backyard does not have a pool, as you take a look at it right now, I still love it. I love the turf on the ground. You can honestly build a pool right there if you would like, but I would probably just keep it as turf. You have your pets run around right here, or if you had a pool, you know, you can, easily just soak in the sun all day in there. But whatever you guys want, if you wanna buy this home, you can build a pool or leave it as is. Over on this end, we have a built-in table to this large stone wall. Great outdoor seating right between these two large trees makes it look very festive out here in my opinion. It's very nice for the fall time. And in this table, there is a built-in little freezer compartment. Perfect to put any of your bottles that you wanna keep cold right there. Just a nice space in your backyard, in my opinion. You have views of the San Fernando Valley overlooking the Santa Monica Mountains in the distance. As we walk down these two tiled steps back to the turf that I was talking about earlier, we're gonna walk up a couple more steps to yet another outdoor dining area. Now there's just so much you can do. You can leave it as a dining area that overlooks your views. As I said, you could build a pool here, maybe put a jacuzzi that's elevated a bit to take in more of those views. But I don't know, I think I like the dining table right here. It'd be nice to have a meal and just take in the views of the San Fernando Valley. As we keep moving along, just lots of great landscaping throughout this entire backyard. You got two more trees right there in the center. Without a pool, this is easily a 10 out of 10 backyard in my opinion. Let us know what you think about it. All right, let's walk up a couple more steps from that sunken down turf area. And here is the covered patio space that I talked about a bit earlier. 
with a very nice globe light like fixture in the very center of this space. You got three wood beams on the ceiling, very similar to that office we showed you in the beginning of this video. Two built-in speakers, and we hear the music playing very nicely right now. I don't think it's our style of music, but you know, it's something. It's very nice, very relaxing for this time of day. It'd be great to just have a seat, read a book, and enjoy some good tunes. Maybe Mozart, Beethoven, whatever you guys are into. The last thing I wanted to point out to you guys before we head back inside are the marble tiles on this wall with a wavy texture that I think looks incredible. It adds to this modern Tuscan style of this house, going all the way from the floor to the ceiling in this patio space. Very nice, very bright, white and modern. Let's walk back inside into the living room. Right away in this living room, you're first gonna notice the same wavy marble tile surrounding the fireplace, going from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. And as you're looking at the ceiling right now, we have three built-in speakers directly in front of the television to give you that movie theater-like experience in your own living room. Just a large gas fireplace right below your built-in flat screen TV above. This is just a massive fireplace. Look at how tall it is. This ledge is almost as tall as me. Just plenty of space in this living room. You can have a couch, you can have another couch right here in front, a couple of seats. You can have the entire family over and just hanging out, enjoying some good company, good friends in this living room. Staging in this house is just incredible. I'm sure you can see the Tuscan style of the interior design. And as we look up, we have four more wood beams that just add to the overall theme of this house. As we keep saying, but that's enough of this first level. I think we gotta show you guys the upstairs and I'm sure you're gonna like the master bedroom, so stick around, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Walking up these stairs, we're heading to the second level. We've got four bedrooms total to show you guys, including the master bedroom, so let's do it. So here we are in this common landing area up here on the second level, and this is stage perfect for the kids. If I were a kid, this would be the dream living area. You have a couple of games down there, such as Rock'em Sock'em Robots, Jenga, just a couple of throwback games right there. Right above that is your large flat screen TV with three built-in speakers directly above it and a couple more built-in speakers in the back over here, behind the couch. And just behind the couch, I like this little area. The staging is incredible. They made this into a little desk space. So you can do some homework right here while looking up at the TV. And you have to finish your homework before you can play any of those games over there as well. And just behind this common area, we're gonna walk down this hall and show you the first bedroom on this level. Now this room is staged perfect for a drone pilot right there. Anyone that's into drones will absolutely love this. Drones, robots, whatever you like, just technology in general. And there's a window that looks out to the front yard. You got your street down there, your main driveway. Just a pretty standard bedroom. As I said, you got more robots up here. Let us know which one is your favorite. I would have to go with this guy right here. Which one do you think, Raul? I'm gonna have to go, the guy that kind of looks like him on the far right. Far right? Wow, Raul's going with this guy. The guy that's kind of at an angle. It looks like his brother. Yeah, you could say that. Let us know what you guys like in the comments. But this room is also en suite with a bathroom right next to it. And here it is. This is just next to the room we just showed you guys, the robot lover room. But taking a look at the vanity, I love right away this backsplash right above this sink of an aluminum tile. And you see that same aluminum tile on the shower walls. It honestly fits in with the overall robotic theme that we saw in the last room. You can maybe chip off a piece of that aluminum and build your own robot. That's just some crazy dream right there. <laughs> but let's walk out of this room and we have a couple more bedrooms to show you guys. As we head down this hall, we have a little bridge right here. We look down to the level below and to my right, there's that gorgeous chandelier right above the front door with these high ceilings. And you do have a window that brings in a little bit of natural sunlight to this bridge area up on the second level. But we're gonna keep moving. There's a bedroom to my right and to my left and right in front of you in this hall, there's some cabinet space above and below with some countertop space to display whatever you might want. We're gonna first walk this way. 
Now I'm gonna keep talking about it, but the staging is incredible throughout this entire home. Now this one, pretty obvious, it's staged for a lacrosse player. You have a couple of posters on the wall for any lacrosse lover out there. The pillows, the artwork, the lacrosse sticks, just unbelievable staging, honestly. But you got two windows on either side of this drawer area, the dresser that looks out to the front yard. Again, just next to the other room we just showed you, both front facing. You got the closet on this side of the wall in front of the bed, and it's en suite, of course. Now, one thing I like about the bathrooms throughout this home is that the smaller backsplash right above the vanity is the same one that you will see in the shower walls, the same tile in there. We have hexagon shaped tiles in three different textures. You have a little bit of a smooth one and then a rough one right next to it going from the bathtub all the way up to the ceiling. And yes, there is a built-in bathtub in this bathroom with matte black rain shower heads against the wall. But that's it from this bedroom. Let's walk right across and check out the roommate or the siblings room next door. Now this room is staged as a girl's room as you see a lot of pink color throughout, such as in the pillows and in the painting on the wall up here. I love this as well. So maybe put that down, give you a little bit of a fortress vibe on your bed. You've got the closet right next to me on this side and it's also en suite. Let's see how this bathroom is different from the last. A little bit different finishes in here. We see quartz countertops of a different stone material and look at the backsplash above these countertops in a hexagon, smooth, almost chrome tile. And you see the same one again in the shower walls. Now I'm gonna take a little walk in here. Now this looks like just luxury tile to me as you look at those hexagon tiles. Well, we just saw this girl's room and the boy's room right next door, the lacrosse lover, the robotics lover, just some great themes in these rooms. But now we have one more bedroom to show you guys and that's the master. So let's check it out right across. Wow, check this out. This is honestly probably your dream master bedroom. First of all, we have the bed here, just some gorgeous wallpaper on the back side of the bed. It almost just looks like one massive slab of marble, but that's just wallpaper up there for all you guys to see. There's enough room to have a couch right in front of your bed and even some footstools. You can maybe even have dinner in your master bedroom, looking directly at your flat screen TV built into the wall. Over on this side, lots of floating shelf space. We have a half floating shelf and then another one below it that extends the entire length of this nook. Some countertop space in a wood material. And then below we have some cabinet space. You have a built-in Sub-Zero mini fridge. And then a built-in wine fridge as well. That's all you need up here, a wine fridge, a mini fridge. Maybe if you had a microwave, you would be set and you'd never have to leave your master bedroom. And now we have a massive balcony to show you guys right off the master bedroom. Just gonna open up these sliding glass doors. And here we are. So much space here. It's almost the same size as the bedroom. You can have that indoor outdoor flow in your own room. You just have views of the valley as well as we said in the backyard all the way to the Santa Monica Mountains. Over on this side, I do love the tile on this wall in a nice gray color that gives you the same Tuscan modern vibes that we've seen throughout the interior of the home. Flat screen TV built into the wall with two pocketed windows to bring some wind in here if it ever gets too hot. Looking at this side, we have a day bed. Wow, this is just a perfect space because you have two built in speakers here in your outdoor balcony, a day bed. I'm gonna take a quick seat. Oh yeah, exactly what I thought. Perfect for just sitting down looking directly at your built-in flat screen TV and just enjoying life in Los Angeles, enjoying the outdoors. And this is the dream. Cut to two hours later after I just finished a movie sitting on that day bed, we are back inside and we're gonna show you the master bathroom. All right. Luxury living at its finest. First, we have large marble slabs on the ground throughout the entirety of this bathroom. Another thing I wanna point out are these tiles here on the wall, very smooth in a gray modern look just surrounding your bathtub. And yes, a freestanding massive bathtub here in the very center of your bathroom. Large square window, giving you those views of course right above your bathtub. 
Two symmetrical vanities. Looking at this one, we have quartz countertops. The same cabinetry that we've seen in pretty much every bathroom throughout the house in that same grayish color. Large mirror right above your sink, of course, with the similar tile that we saw in the balcony out there, actually, acting as a backsplash above both vanities. And directly in front of this vanity, we have your private toilet room with the same marble slabs just sitting on your toilet in luxury. Wouldn't that be nice? And right outside of this toilet room, here is your master bedroom shower. I like how this shower encloses. It makes it a very private space. You have a shower bench over on this side with a shower niche right above it with the same tile throughout this entirety. Black shower head up against those tiles. And last but not least, we've got the closet to show you. And it's just this way. Right as you walk in and turn right, this is your master closet. Now the closet door is a mirror. Shout out Father Raul in the mirror there. We're gonna learn what his favorite part about this home was at the end. So you guys are gonna wanna listen for his comments. So just stay tuned for that. And we've got a lot of LED lighting immediately in this closet space. You can display your shoes, whatever you may want right there. And just look at how seamless all of these doors just line up together in this closet. Lots of room in there. It's actually more space than I thought before I opened it. No center island in here, and I do like the carpeted flooring in your closet, that's always a plus. And you do have a makeup area directly in front of us with a little button there. Look at that, right on the mirror, it controls the light. Just having fun playing with that. And there we go, the LED light stripping bordering that mirror, a little space for her to do her makeup. You have some more space up here for some storage. And right through your closet is actually your washer and dryer room. I know some of you washer and dryer laundry fans were waiting for this, so here it is. It's right through your closet. Large whirlpool, whirlpool, that's a tongue twister right there. Whirlpool washer and dryer. Cabinet space above that. More gorgeous countertop space in your laundry room. Look at this, quartz countertops. A different backsplash that we haven't seen yet throughout the house in this wavy texture. Just zoom in on that real quick. And I love the light underneath these cabinets to display that backsplash. Almost gives you some ocean sandy vibes in my opinion. And your sink is over on this side. And that was it. We are back out of the master. Well, there it was. We are back on the landing space here on the second level on this L-shaped couch. It's very comfortable, more comfy than I thought for some staging furniture. But here we go, Raul, let me ask you a question. As always, what was your favorite part about this house? So yeah, um, Toll Brothers always kills it with the staging. That's one thing I've definitely noticed. And my favorite thing by far has to be the room with the drones. You know, I'm a drone lover myself and I love flying drones and I've discovered that passion just under two years ago. So the fact that, you know, a youngster is inspired by flying drones and being inspired by tech, that's awesome, man. So I just want to be give a shout out to that for sure. <laughs> shout out to Raul and the drone work. Let's get some drone shots right now. Okay, that was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that shot. But yeah, dude, that's awesome. I'm glad you like that room. Great staging in here as always. My favorite part about this home specifically would probably have to be the backyard. Even though there was no pool back there, I, you know, I wouldn't really necessarily need a pool in the quote unquote dream house, but I do love how there is room to put a pool out here. You can customize it how you would like. That's the great thing about these model homes that we show you guys. I love the turf out there, makes it very bright. We actually posted a picture on Instagram from that backyard. So if you haven't seen that, click down the link in the description to check that out. And yeah, let us know what your favorite part about this one is down in the comments below as always. All right, we are walking back downstairs. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you made it this far and haven't hit the like button yet, please do so, it only takes one second. We're currently posting two videos a week through the end of the year, so stay tuned for that and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.